Alright, what's up guys, this is Jake, and in this video we're going to be going over a complete guide on how you can actually go out there and utilize YouTube influencers, which is definitely something that, you know, not a lot of people um, utilize in the e-commerce space. So we're going to go ahead and cover the pros and cons and how you can go ahead and go out there and implement this uh, with your own products. So I wanted to give a quick overview. So YouTube influencer marketing is very similar to Instagram and it can be a lot better in many ways. Now the main difference is instead of paying for a shout out and then creating an ad for the influencer to post like you do with Instagram, you're instead going to send the influencer the product instead. And then the influencer will in turn typically demo and or showcase your product in the video and then direct their audience to your store normally with a special discount code that was custom created for that specific influencer. Now, YouTubers typically become uh, what I like to call brand ambassadors versus just one-time shout-outs that you do on Instagram. You know, you pay for a shout-out. Uh, they post your uh, ad on their feed for, you know, anywhere from 8 to 24 hours, and then they take it down, and it's done. Now, normally, um, with YouTube, when you engage in a brand partnership with an influencer, typically, um, if your product's good, if you have a solid brand, and the YouTuber has a solid engaged audience, it can lead to a profitable long-term partnership for both parties involved, which is pretty cool, which is the main benefit of YouTube influencers versus Instagram. And I just wanted to say you can do the same thing on Instagram, but it is a lot less common. Now, a quick disclaimer, this is not an effective strategy with your typical low quality run of the mill dropship product on a general store. So if you're just drop shipping random low quality stuff and you have a general store, this isn't going to work. This works best with a custom branded product. However, you can use generic dropship products, but it needs to be on a single product branded store now. Um, if you followed any of my recent videos from uh, the past few months, you, you know by now that pretty much the single product branded store is the only way to drop ship nowadays, at least in my opinion. If you're going to drop ship stuff from AliExpress, you need to make that single product store because it works so much better than uh, the general store strategy, which is kind of just becoming oversaturated. So this works best if you do have a custom branded product. However, at the very least, you absolutely have to have um, a custom branded store. Your store needs to be a brand. You're not gonna be able to go out there and do this without a brand because YouTubers, they partner with brands. They're not gonna partner with trendydiscounts.com. So you need to actually have you know a nice brand image because they're gonna wanna, you know, they're putting their they're putting their own brand on the line by partnering with you and promoting your products to their audience and they, and they don't want to burn their audience by going out there and promoting something that is you know complete garbage so that's why you want to make sure that you have a quality product and you have a brand around that product so just wanted to quickly reiterate that the two things you absolutely need to do this is you need a quality product that the influencer will like and you need a branded store now if you have a branded product if you're private labeling that's even better and this is one of the best things to do when you're private labeling but even if you're just doing the typical single product store route which is where kind of drop shipping is heading as of recently you can do this as well but you need to absolutely have the branded store now with that said, let's go ahead and get down into the process of actually reaching out to these YouTube influencers. So just like Instagram, we need to find YouTubers that are within our niche where um, the audience of these influencers will be interested in our products. So uh, obviously we're going to use basic functions on YouTube to go ahead and find people within our niche. Now, um, if you're selling a product that is within a niche you're already familiar with, then you probably already know a lot of YouTubers within the niche. For example, if I was selling like a gaming product, um, I play a lot of games, so I know a lot of the gaming YouTubers, so it wouldn't really be very hard for me to go out there and find different YouTubers within that niche because I'm already familiar with it. So if you're familiar with the niche, it's gonna help a lot, but if you're not, then what you're gonna need to do is just search for your niche on YouTube, find videos, find big creators um, through the search function, and then you can also look at your recommended videos. That's gonna allow you to find other channels 
and you can um, go to the actual channel on YouTube and look to the right and it shows recommended channels like channels that are related to this one and you can find other channels by doing that as well so YouTube is pretty easy to find YouTubers within your niche so I'm not going to cover that too in depth because you just have to spend you know 30 minutes to an hour searching um, through videos and trying to find certain uh, creators that are creating content that fits really well with the product that you're trying to sell so what we want to do is look for channels within our niche to meet the following requirements. So we want a channel that at least has 25,000 subs and then we want to make sure that that channel uploads regularly. So that means their audience is more engaged. So we at least want one upload per week and then we want to make sure that the audience isn't burnt out or they aren't experiencing too much subscriber burn, meaning that uh, their videos have a high view count, so at the very least, each one of their uploads gets around 10% of their total sub count, if not more. And there's always going to be fluctuation. Certain videos do better than others. That's why I put 10% as a mean range that you can go ahead and use. And then you want to go ahead and make a list of all of these channels that meet these requirements and that are within the niche. And the next thing we want to do is when you find these channels, and you've created a list of them, we're going to go ahead and look for the contact information for them. So in most cases, um, in their descriptions, they're going to have either a business email or their Instagram account or a mailing address. So we're going to be looking for these three things, the business email, the Instagram account, or the mailing address. Many YouTubers are going to have all three of them in there. So what we want to do is we want to contact them and then introduce them to our product and company and offer to send them a free product. And then if they like it, they can share it with their audience in exchange for an affiliate commission from each sale that they generate. So obviously this method of contact is going to be used for the business email or if we're contacting them via Instagram. So you just reach out and you introduce like, hey, my name is Jake and I own so-and-so company. Um, I have this product. I, I think you'd really like it. Your audience might really like it too. Um, I can send you um, a few samples of it for free. And you know, if you like it, you can share it with your audience. And if you don't like it, if you don't think it's something your audience would like, then you know, don't worry about it. You can just keep the product, product free of charge. So that's what you want to reach out and say. And then alternatively, you can also just mail them your product up front. So this obviously only applies to people that have their mailing address in their description, but you can mail them your product up front and attach a note. Um, you could handwrite the note if you want. It kind of adds a personal touch and then ask if they want to become a brand partner. So essentially the note attached to the product you're sending them would essentially be the same thing um, that you'd be asking if you reached out to them via the other mediums, except this time you've kind of just went ahead and already sent them the product. So in a scenario like this, depending on how many um, offers like this they receive, if your product's good, it's probably going to be more likely that they respond to this because they already have the product in their hands. So they might feel a little bit more obligated to at least give you a response since you went out there and went out of your way to send them free products. So this is how you find YouTube influencers and reach out to them. And from here, what we need to do is set up our affiliate setup. So what we need to do is, as I previously stated, you're not going to really be paying them an upfront cost. Sometimes this is the case, but most of the time this isn't how you're going to do it. You're typically going to try to get the YouTuber on as an affiliate or a brand partner. So what this means is they'll receive a percentage commission from every buyer that comes from their video. So you want to give the YouTuber a custom coupon code that their audience can use. So typically the coupon code is just going to have the name of the YouTuber in it, something that's branded that's easy to remember. So for example, if it was like PewDiePie and he, you know, you were giving him a coupon code, you could just be like use code PewDiePie for, you know, 10, 20% off your order. So you want it to be something branded that's easy for the audience to remember. And then you and the influencer can kind of discuss this and kind of decide on what you guys uh, you think would be best. And then you can go ahead and use an affiliate app, affiliate app rather, such as Refersion to track all of this. So it will be done automatically. So you don't have to go in and manually see like, oh, well, 
um, this YouTuber sent over this sale, so I have to go ahead and send them this much money. Now you can just use an affiliate app and then all of this is automated. As soon as the revenue comes in, they'll go ahead and get their cut and it's completely automated. So every time someone uses that coupon code, the referrer or our influencer in this case will get credit for the sale and then get the commission rate that you guys have went ahead and specified and agreed upon. So your commission rates definitely going to vary depending on your product's profit margin. However, you're going to want to ensure that you're not super stingy with this because obviously with this you want your influencers to actually feel compelled to partner up with you so if they're not making enough money from the partnership they're probably not going to be interested in it so no five percent is not typically going to be an acceptable affiliate commission unless your product is you know super expensive maybe it's like a thousand bucks then you know fifty dollars is a pretty good commission per sale but if you're selling like a thirty dollar product you're going to have to give them more than five percent of that or else they're not really going to be interested so from here we're going to get into growing and scaling so if an influencer likes your product and the, and the promotion is well received by their audience they will likely continue to promote your product in subsequent videos and with that they'll continue to gain affiliate commissions for all of the sales that they generate based on the traffic they're sending so the goal is to gain as many brand ambassadors as possible and in doing so you can have a lot of passive traffic and sales coming in so this is a lot different than you know a lot of the paid advertising you normally do because this is just something where it's like anytime they feel like promoting your product they go ahead and just you know give it a quick shout out in whatever video they put up and then you're getting that traffic and this is all from you doing absolutely nothing so once you have this partnership established it's pretty much passive traffic all on your end so an easy example would be inside the gaming niche. You can notice how many streamers and YouTubers use DX Racer chairs, which is actually the same one I have as well. And they all have their own discount code as well, meaning that DX Racer is just generating a ton of passive traffic from their ambassadors. And from that, they have actually become a mainstay within the gaming niche because they have so many ambassadors. So anytime you know people go and watch streamers or... Um, gaming YouTube channels, uh, a lot of the times they're going to be directed to get a DX Racer chair, which has allowed them to become a huge brand name within their niche, which is why this strategy is so powerful. Now, what I wanted to do is go ahead and just show you a quick e commerce example um, of this strategy and how one of the largest Shopify brands is actually utilizing this strategy to the fullest. So, we're going to go ahead and jump over to Chrome here. And you can see this video right here is from a channel teaching men's fashion. So the name's pretty self-explanatory. Um, he pretty much just makes videos about men's fashion. So you can see that this here is 11 simple things any man can do to look better. So pretty broad video that you know most guys, any guys that are interested in fashion would like to watch. So you can see right here though that he has promoted a product in this video. Now I'm not gonna actually play uh, the video itself. If you want to look up this video and watch it to look for the promotion, you can. But the point is that there's a promotion in this video here, and then you can see he's got the exact um, affiliate partnership that I was talking about earlier. So you can see he's got an affiliate link here to Movement Watches, and then he's got a special code that they can use as well. So TM Fashion, which represents his name, and then uh, that will give anyone that uses this code 10% off the order. So you can see the affiliate link right here. So this is another way of tracking the traffic coming from this video here. And you can see that this says 15% off apply to checkout. So apparently he actually has a this affiliate link rather is a special link that gives you 15% off. And then of course it's going to track that he generated the sale if I were to go check out here and then he would get a cut from this as well. So this is an easy example of how it's working. And if you're not familiar with movement watches, they're actually one of the um, top Shopify stores out uh, in going by traffic anyway. They're one of the most highly trafficked uh, Shopify stores out there. And uh, if you don't know their backstory, they actually started off just with drop shipping um, AliExpress watches. And you can tell most of their watches are pretty much just uh, AliExpress watches with their own little branding on it as well. So they went from a typical drop shipping um, 
brand to moving into actually private labeling their own watches and stuff like that. And one of the main reasons they were able to do this is because they have a ton of brand ambassadors like this on YouTube. You know, this guy has 3.6 million subscribers, so this is a pretty big partnership for them. This video alone has 3.5 million views, so you can imagine how much traffic is being sent over here, and I would imagine that this isn't the only time that this um, guy here has promoted movement, and I know that I have seen movement be promoted by other um, YouTubers as well. So this is definitely a powerful strategy you can utilize and obviously like I said it works a lot better when you have a strong brand like this when you have your own brand established and uh, if you have custom products that's even better but at the very least you need to have that nice single product store brand look because if you don't like I said, uh, YouTubers, especially big ones like this, aren't going to uh, go ahead and partner with TrendyDiscountGuide.com. So with that said, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, if, you, if you found that helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content, and I'll see you guys in another one.